Men do what they want. Boys do what they can. Salute Kings. Don't put your value in your sex. Put your value in what you offer as a man. See, yes, sex is a huge part of life, especially with dealing with women, but it's not the end all be all. And when you put your value in strictly sex, what happens is you hold no other value other than your penis. So just like you can find another vagina, she can find another penis. Therefore, you have no real value. But see, when you put your value in who you are as a man, she can't find that shit, dog. She can't find that, King. She can't find an amazing, immaculate, intelligent, boss, high-value male anywhere, which is you. She can find penis anywhere. I don't care how great your sex is. Never put your value into your sexual abilities. Never put your value into your penis. I tell myself often, and not to brag, but I always got good feedback on my sex from women. Always. But I don't put my value in that. Do I know I'm a bad mom? <laughs> yeah, I'm a bad mom. <laughs> but still, in terms of my exes, I already know that they won't be able to do better than me because who I am. They lost who I am as a, I don't give a fuck about the sex. She can find bigger, better. I, I don't give a fuck about that. You're never going to find another me. And they know that. This is how you should feel about yourself. When you put value on yourself, this is how you should feel. If a woman fucks up with you, she'll never find another you. The shit that you have on the inside, the morals, the integrities, that work ethic, that drive, that ambition, right? Good spirit, good soul, good energy. She'll never find another one of those. And at least if she do, it's not going to come easy. Because high value is rare nowadays. But when you put your... Se when you put your confidence in your sexual abilities like your penis the problem with that is everybody has a penis so what happens when someone has better sex than you what happens when someone has you know we ain't gonna say it but you know someone's size is more you know oppressive than yours to her your value lessens But when you put your value in who you are as a human being, as a man, as a person, that's hard to come by. You know, you put your value in things at the fact like that you take pride in a hard day's work. You put your value in your work ethic. You put your value in your morals and what you stand on as a man. Like, for example, you never snaked your friend. You never did no snake things behind his back. You never talked about him. You never tried to sleep with his girlfriend, with his wife. When you put your value in those things, you're not a cheater. You don't feel the need to cheat. You would rather just stay single or break up with a woman. That's the things you should put value in because those things are valuable. And any woman who doesn't see them as valuable is not on your level and they're not meant to be dealt with by you anyway. They're more, they're more of a burden to your life. So never put your value in your penis. Never put your value in your sexual abilities. Because like I said before, it's always somebody out there bigger and badder pause but it's just the truth but who we becoming as men who we are becoming as kings that's rare that's that's not out there you have guys out here 
with a bunch of baby mamas. You have guys out here watching pornography. You have guys out here who don't give a fuck about semen retention. They sleeping with everything they watch, wasting their number one life source as a man, wasting their energy and attaching themselves to succubus. You have guys out here who are on child support. You have guys out here who are beta, who are simps. You have guys out here who are quote unquote ladies men and get women and they're successful, but they will be in jail in a couple of years because they sexually harass women. That success had gone to his head because he's really not a good person. He puts his value in his success. He puts his value in his money instead of who he is as a man. He puts his value in what he has. And because he has that, he feels entitled to women. He feels entitled to sex. And it's going to leave him in jail. It's going to leave him with a Me Too movement. It's going to leave him with a rape charge. But you, your value is your principles, what you stand on as a man. Your value is how you treat other human beings, how you treat other men. How you raise your kids, how you bring your kids up if you have children, how you treat the women in your life. And when I say treat the women in your life, I don't mean in a beta simpish way. I just simply mean just because you got women in your life and you're on your red pill shit don't mean you should be out here sleeping with shit and coming back home and sleeping with her and lying to her and telling her this and putting her at risk of getting an STD and put, putting your hands on her and whooping her ass. That's not alpha. This is why I tell y'all cheating is not alpha. It's, not a, it's no way. Che cheating is not attached to alpha in no way. Because if you really alpha, you are able to tell a woman that she's not the only one and you want to deal with multiple women and she could still rock with you. That's alpha if you want to talk about alpha. Alpha is finding a woman who will be okay with you talking to multiple women. Not sneaking and texting women. That's childish, that's kiddish. That's beta. Not lying about where you're going and who you're being with. That's little boy shit, not grown man shit. So when I say how you treat the woman, I don't mean pampering her, being baited to her, validating her constantly, none of these things. Treating her like, you know, God's gift to earth. I just simply mean it's guys out here that are real scumbags and we don't promote that over here, King. No, we promote men becoming their best and attracting high quality women, high value women. So we're not worried about the NBA young boys and the guys who whip women ass and do all this goofy stuff, but they still get women. Because they will have their day. And I don't wish bad on NBA young boy. I'm actually a fan of them. But at the same time, I'm still a man first. So this is not me bashing him, but I'm just saying, if you're out here putting your hands on women, if you're out here beefing with dudes, you know, I come from Chicago, King. Okay? You out here beefing with dudes and shooting at guys or, you know, whatever you're doing. You know, I ain't going to speak on what you're doing because I don't know. But I'm saying if you're out here engaging in those activities, you will eventually get that back. And I pray you don't. I pray you change. But if you made your bed, you got to lay in it. So when I say NBA young boy, just as an example, I'm not picking on him. I'm just using him as an example to say that don't look at an NBA young boy type of guy and try to be that. Because most guys like that have fun in the beginning and they're punished in the end. It's just how it goes. They have their fun in the beginning and they're punished in the end. Same for the King Vons and all them guys. It's just how it goes. If they don't change, when you see the, the growth and the change, like a like a um uh Kevin Gates, people like that who grow and change. But when you see those people who think they're gonna be hood forever, think they're gonna be shooting their dudes forever, think they're gonna be whooping women ass forever. Game banging and thugging forever. We'll see 10 years from now. And for some, it's five years. So, don't get caught up in trying to be NBA young boy. Don't get caught up in trying to be King Von. Don't get caught up in trying to be these rappers. Focus on becoming a man. Fuck trying to be a real nigga. Fuck trying to be a gangster, fuck trying to be a thug, just be a man, get in the gym, get in shape, get into boxing, learn how to use a firearm to protect your family, learn how to 
develop more masculine traits about yourself and embrace your masculinity, learn how to become more dominant. Learn how to become more confident. And you're not going to need to be an NBA young boy because or King Von or any of these dudes you may idolize and look up to, these street dudes. Because I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to tell you one thing about a lot of these street dudes and not all of them. But the reality of a lot of these street dudes is amongst a real man, these dudes, wouldn't, they wouldn't compare. Amongst an MMA fighter, amongst a boxer, these guys wouldn't compare. And I'm talking about without your gun. I'm talking about without your 100 goons. Not too many of these guys are really stand up without that. A lot of these guys' confidence, and it goes back to the video, look. Their confidence, just like I told you not to put your confidence in your penis or other things, your money, their confidence are in their reputation. Their confidence, that are, you know, their confidence is in the fact that they hang out with 50 goons. The fact that they're known in their hood. The fact that they're looked at like a tough guy. That's where their confidence are at. But what happens if they run across an MMA fighter in a dark alley with no guns and no homeboys? They probably get murdered by that man's bare hands. And there ain't no probably to it. You put these street rappers in the cage with an MMA fighter, and let's see who they are. And this is not me bashing or picking on them, it's just simply saying that I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of the notion that in order to be masculine or dominant, you have to be a thug, you have to be gangster, you have to be a real nigga. And I don't even use that word no more, but I'm using it for this video to get my point across. No, the most masculine thing you can be is a man. That's it. Because man is masculinity. A man in his purest, truest essence is masculine. Yes, we have masculine and feminine. We all have both. But a man is predominantly masculine. So the more you embrace being a man, the more you embrace your manhood, you don't have to go shoot a pistol. You don't have to end up in prison. You don't have to end up in jail to attract more women. You can become more masculine, confident, assertive, and dominant by becoming more manly, by embracing your manhood. This doesn't mean you can't have emotions. This doesn't mean you can't cry. It doesn't mean none of that. It just simply means the same way women are being told to embrace their femininity, the same way women are being told to love their feminine. Or even the women who are being told to embrace their masculine side. If it's okay for a woman to choose to embrace her masculine or her feminine, it should damn sure be okay for a man to embrace his natural state of being, his natural essence, which is his masculine. Yeah, we, we out here talking about how men should embrace more of their feminine, but why aren't we promoting men embracing their fucking masculine? Something that he's naturally, you know, he just naturally is. He's naturally meant to be. You get bashed for telling men to embrace their masculine, but you don't get bashed for telling men to embrace more of their feminine? Stop it. So you ain't got to be a thug. You ain't got to put your confidence in, in your penis abilities. You ain't got to put your confidence in who you kill, who you shoot at. You put your confidence in who you are as a man, your morals, your, your, your integrity, and your principles, okay? And you're going to be all right. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like for me. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Welcome to the Alpha Nation. Also, if you want to chop it up with me one-on-one -on -one video coaching, link is down in the description. We can talk about anything from NoFap, semen retention, female nature. We're just talking it up face-to-face, man-to-man, about life. So next time, Alpha Sincere, salute.